Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So today what we got is our first rank 35 of the season and it is going to be Brock. So this is going to be the fourth rank 35 we've gotten. Um, I know we said we're going to be doing more, but honestly things slowed down for the last couple weeks. I was away, you know, I took some time off and I was practicing a little bit for PBL. So, you know, I did it, it took a little bit of some time off. Of pushing the rank 35 so here we go we did Brock in like three days of pushing so I'm considering doing another one this season but basically what we're gonna be doing today is just showing you guys how we got the rank 35 Brock there's honestly some very stressful games and matchmaking was not easy on us it was about 10 to 12 minutes every time I actually stream most of it on twitch so you can definitely hop over there and check it out if you want to see any other future pushes you can check over there but anyways let's hop into the replays and let's show you guys exactly how I did it okay so this is a really really good game um, that we played earlier so i was playing the whole time with killer the third and mcsand so shout so sh shout outs to them for being really good teammates um i was able to tap the bb over there twice you guys can see killer is going to be on the tara he's going for the rank 35 tara and mcsand is just helping out being a good guy so we're doing a lot of tapping we're going to be able to get our super over there mcsand is going to get a good super off he's going to be able to get that kill i'm going to tap the poco sans is going to roll right on the poco and be able to get the kill so we're doing pretty good at this point um, with my Brock supers, a lot of the time what I wanted to do is just more or less break walls instead of score. Sands went in, he did a lot of damage, Killer gets the ball, and he misses a wide open net. You hate to see it, Killer. And um, that's going to keep the game tied. The Primo spinning because he knows that should have gone in the net. But anyways, I'm just holding it down in mid right now. Continuously tapping. Killer got gets his pull, so he's going to get he's gonna use his pull. McSands gets his super, he's going to be able... To almost get the kill, I got two really good taps on that Primo or else he would have scored, so that was a really good play. I'm going to move up over here. Nowhere for me to go though, so unfortunately I am going to go down to the Poco. First time I've gone down this game. Sans is doing a really, really, really good job. Um, he's going to roll on the BB. Really good job over there. I'm just chilling. Sans is going to roll on the Primo. And it's just going to be a Poco. Tara has pull. I have my super and Sans is right there, so there's nothing that they could really do. I'm in it into the game now. Sorry, a minute left in the game. Sans is just trying to charge his super. Killer is going to go for the solo pull, which I've been telling him to do basically the whole time. It is definitely the strat. Sans picks up his super. He's going to roll right towards the net, and that is going to be the first goal of the game. So that's really good with only 50 seconds left to be taking the lead. Obviously amazing. Um, I stand still over there by accident for a sec. Sans has his super. He's going to use it. He's not going to bob on anyone. The Primo is actually going to get healed and jump on us. So that's going to be a goal for them. They have their supers, so that's actually pretty scary right now. 30 seconds left in this game. Um, I'm tapping this BB over here. Killer has his super, so we're looking fine. Killer's just chilling. He's going to use his uh, pull to get that solo suck again. Again, very highly recommended to you guys to use it. I'm going to do a good amount of damage to that Primo, so it's not going to end up doing anything. Uh, Killer has his super, and Sans is right there, so the BB's obviously no threat to us. I'm coming up with our super 10 seconds left in this game, 8, 7, Killer has his pull over here, they're bunched up, Killer gets a double pull, I'm going to use my super to kind of clear the path, going to be able to pick up a kill, Sans is going to get the ball and he's going to put that one into the net one second into overtime, and that is going to give us our first win, so this is at 12.25, this is looking pretty good, I'm able to get star player against a very, you know, that was actually a good team with a really, really good comp, so shout out to them, let's hop into the next game and show you guys the next one. Okay, so here we go into the next game, and we're actually going to be facing Johnny Boy's Colt. A lot of you guys know Johnny Boy. He's very, very famous Colt in Brawl Stars. You guys can see I start off by tapping that Nita, get a couple taps on that Primo over there, get a third one. And we're going to move up over here. Johnny's doing a good job lasering. Um, he almost gets me, but Sans is going to be able to push him back. Johnny does get super though. Sans is going to go down, but I'm still chilling here alive. I'm basically tasked with getting Johnny Boy the entire time since I have the most range. You're going to be able to take him out over there. And my super is going to slip and I'm just going to super the air. Um, fortunately for us though, Killer had his super and just in case Sans also had his super so it wasn't the worst case in the world. Um, there's a Primo just chilling over here. I'm going to miss a couple shots on him. And I'm going to just kind of let him heal up and then tap him a little bit. Get the straight on him. I'm going to hit that fourth one. Killer is going to be able to take him out. Sans is going to be able to take out Johnny over there. And I have my super, so I'm just going to break the wall while at the same time getting that Nita. Not a lot of walls broke though, I don't really know how only those few broke to be honest. I'm one shot off my super, I'm able to get it again. Get, going to use my super, going to be able to take out the Nita and Johnny Boy, going to get the ball right back. Johnny tried to super it away, didn't go anywhere. Pass it to Killer, and Killer is going to put that one into the net. 
So it's looking pretty good right here. I'm going to get some taps on this Primo. Sands has his roll, so he obviously wants to go for the ball. I'm just going to pick it up. And I'm just going to try. I was going to try and go for it. Didn't end up happening. Sands rolls in. Um, Killer's going to solo pull that Primo. I'm going to get a couple shots off on him. I'm going to tap this Nita a couple times. Hit that bear. So Killer's going to help me with that kill. Johnny's going to get pulled even though he goes down. Killer has the ball, passes it to Sans. Sans puts it in the net. And that's going to be a 2-0 win onto Johnny Boy. Let's hop into the next game and show you guys what happened. So here we go. Now, this one was actually a pretty challenging game. And I'm just going through my battle log, finding kind of the longer games where it looked like it was a bit harder. So we're going up against a Jesse, a Tara, and a Primo. So that's a pretty good comp. Um, I don't really have a mid to go up against at the start here. So I started kind of just trying to tap the lanes. Um... McSans is doing a good job on the right side, kind of just holding it down. I got a couple taps over there, so I'm going to use my super and clear up that right side. We're going to be able to break the walls and get um, a couple kills, so that's going to be the first goal. That one was really, really easy. Not too much challenging things over there. I'm going to be shooting the mid, but nobody's there. Sans is going to pick up the ball, go for the goal, and that was honestly really close. Unfortunately, though, he wasn't able to get it. We're able to get two kills over there, so we're fine. Killer needs to get this kill. Um, unfortunately for us... He gets it, but he also gets taken out right before he's able to get the goal. So that sucks. We double tap the Tara. We're able to take him out. So things are looking pretty good over here. Jesse drops the turret. Uh, Sands tries to go for the goal. Shoots it one second too early. So unfortunately, that's not going to be going in the net. Primo jumps on us, and that's just going to be a GG for us. So we just charge our super off of dying. Nothing re really we can do. This Jesse stays still. Killer moves up. He solo sucks after shooting her once, which I don't suggest. You can just charge your super a little more. Sans gets pulled over there. Um, I don't think he goes down. Yeah, he's still alive. I two-tap that Tara to protect Sans. Primo's going to jump on us. Sans is going to push the ball forward. I'm going to use my super just trying to back them off. Um, I am going to stay alive with like 200 HP, like something crazy like that. Jesse's going to put her turret in a really good location, but luckily for us, Sans was immune and I was far away, so I was able to just tap it. Sans rolls over there, gets the kill. Rolls on the Jesse, gets the kill. Sans is doing an amazing job. He rolls by. I get the ball uh, from Killer and I pass it up to Sans and we're able to get that goal. So that is really, really, really good teamwork over there. That's going to put me to 12-43. Let's hop into the 12-43 game and show you guys what happened. So going into this game, we're going to be going up against X6 Dan. Um, another X6 player, which is a pro team in Spain. And Lonatary, who is one of the best randoms of all time. Um, say, in comments, say in the comments if you guys know who Lonatary is. He's 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 a low-key god in this game. So we're able to tap uh, Dan twice. Lonatary is just going to be chilling over here trying to get killer. I'm going to be able to tap him once, but I do take a lot of damage in doing so. Um, just moving around over here. We get one kill. I'm going to put the ball towards the wall, and I'm going to try and break it. I'm going to be ending up getting that kill, breaking the wall. Sand's going to get the ball, and he's going to put that one right into the net. Really easy, quick first goal. Things are looking pretty good. Lonitary is going to go invisible. Um, myself and Killer the Third kind of just get together because we're the weaker ones. But um, Lonitary can't really just kill Sand, so that's fine. I'm able to get a kill on him. Uh, I'm going to bring the ball up, and the bow tries to get in the way. He's not going to be able to. We hit him with one shot, put the ball in the net, and that is going to be a really quick game, which moves us to 12:46. So this is looking good. We're only two games off. Let's hop into the second final game and show you guys what happened. So on to the next game. Uh, we're going to be going up against Shelly, Mortis, and Primo. Now, to talk to you guys about what star power to use, I would highly recommend using the 4 rocket star power, just because you see a lot of tanks and Mortises in this, and if, you have, if you're facing a Mortis and you have the incinerary star power, you will not kill it, but you'll kill a Mortis every time if you have 4 rockets. So I would highly, highly recommend that as I get into those encounters, like literally every other game almost. So we're able to get a really quick first goal over there. Um... Going to be trying to tap that Primo. Unable to. Sans gets the ball though. He misses. Um, but fortunately, really good pull over there by Killer. I try and get the kill on Shelly. I'm not able to. Killer picks up the ball. He's going to pass it to Sans. And Sans is just going to walk this one in. And that is going to be the second last game. Um, let's hop into the final game. The rank 35 game. And show you guys what happened. Okay, so here we go into the next game. Again, we are facing a Mortis. We're facing the Dark Eagle. Which is actually a pretty good player. He has a personal best of like 26k. And then we're also facing Red Hands, the Primo, who isn't that bad. Um, so a little bit of a challenge for our last game. Again, we're facing a Mortis, so using the four uh, Rocket Star power is definitely the strat. Um, it's going to go down over there. Dark Eagle is using that Speed Star power, I believe, in this game, which is so hard to hit as a Brock. It's actually insane. Killer's going to go for the solo pull over there. We're going to be able to pick up a kill. I don't know what McSans was going for over there. 
But either way, we end up getting the kill or the goal, so that was really good. So we're 30 seconds into the game here. It's getting a little bit challenging though, just because they're kind of figured us out. The one thing that we do have is Daryl's really good against their comps, so that's something definitely in our favor. Really good clip over there by the Dark Eagle. Uh, Killer's not looking too good over here, but he gets a really good double pull over there. He's able to kill both the Primo and the Mortis, so that's really, really good. Uh, McSans is going to go down over there. Good super over there by Dark Eagle. Going to get Killer down a lot. I kind of got out of the way. Um, but in, more good shots from him. I almost go down. Good thing I have this Tara minion thing healing me. I'm just chilling over here, trying to hit some shots. Mortis comes after us, but we got the four shots, so we're fine. Killer goes for a pull. He only gets one. I thought he was going to end up getting both. We have Dark Eagle Trapped going to end up getting that kill. Sands is now bringing up the ball. I'm kind of just chilling in this bush. Sands brings it up. He's obviously going to go for the roll. I'm going to use a super. He's going to go for kind of a fancy roll. Doesn't work out, but I got a lot of hits over there with my super. Got another kill. And we're going to get that one final kill right there. Some BM from Sands, and that is going to end the game and give me my rank 35 Brock. So this is my fourth rank 35. It's a beauty. We also have, let's see if it, if it goes by rank. I don't think it does. Wow. But anyways, we have uh, Gina at rank 35. We have Sandy at rank 35. I believe we have two more. We have Brock at rank 35. Oh, I guess that was our third one. Oh, that's kind of odd. Okay, well, I thought I had one more. Well, I guess I have to go for one this season then. Oh, I probably thought it was BB. But anyways, I guess it's our third rank 35, so that kind of sucks. But let's get another one this season now that I think about that. I'm thinking about either doing Tara or Daryl, but I think I'm going to end up doing Daryl since it's looking like a lot of fun this season. But anyways, that is going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, now I kind of have to get a fourth rank 35. But anyways, that's going to be it. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll catch you guys again tomorrow. Catch you later. Peace.